Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and the first question of the day is which of these chemical groups are not hydrophilic and you have to choose one of these answers. Take a look at this table of 20 amino acids and let's compare these groups to what we see here. If you don't know which groups are hydrophobic and hydrophilic, which are polar and which are not, you're going to learn it in just a minute. So let me start with the first variant, variant A, and we see that all atoms here with a carbon or hydrogen, we call this hydrocarbon. So all are groups, so this is backbone of each amino acid, which is going to be the same in each amino acid, but R group is going to be different. And if you see that R group consists of only hydrogen or carbon and hydrogen, such R group is going to be non-polar and is going to be hydrophobic. Now let's check answer B and here we see the group which we see in the backbone. This is carboxylic acid and of course carboxylic acid group and amino group would make a peptide bond through condensation reaction and one molecule of water is going to be produced. So this chemical group is hydrophilic. Second carboxylic acid group you can see for example in aspartic acid and glutamic acid we can find this group in our chain. Next group is amino group and in order to be hydrophobic you whether have to have positive charge or negative charge because water molecule on one side slightly negatively charged and on the other side where hydrogens are slightly positively charged. So we can find such groups in our chain, for example, in asparagine and glutamine. And another example would be arginine. This is going to be basic amino acid, which is going to be positively charged under the normal physiological conditions of the body. And the last group, answer D, this is alcohol. We can find also in our chains of some amino acids. Under normal physiological conditions, such groups are going to be non-charged, but if pH is going to change, these groups can lose hydrogen and would be negatively charged. So amino acids that has such groups in our chain we call hydrophilic. Now let's return to our question. So which of these chemical groups is not hydrophilic? And all these groups now you know that all of them are hydrophilic and this is hydrophobic. So it's not hydrophilic. And this is going to be our answer for the first question. And question number two, which amino acid helps in fixation of calcium in bones? There is not much to explain, you just have to memorize that lysine helps fixation of the calcium in the bones. And this is all for today, subscribe and see you in the next video, goodbye.